Light Show is a linear wipe that mixes glows, light spills, glints, distortions, and environmental effects to produce a huge variety of looks. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get FX Factory tutorials, pro video tips, and software and product reviews every week. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Light Show also works in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. It's located in the Titles browser under Light Show Layer and Light Show Title, under the Effects browser under Light Show for Titles and Light Show for Video, and finally under the Transitions browser, again in two categories for Titles and Video. Let's start with one of Light Show's title templates. When you drag a Light Show title to your timeline, it comes with the effect already applied to the text and timed to the length of the clip. Each feature of the effect can be easily customized. To control the shape and angle of the wipe, look for parameters under the Wipe group. Here you can also choose whether the Light Show Wipe is used to reveal or hide your media. By default, the animation begins and ends with the clip. To customize this behavior, look under the Animation group. I can adjust the Start and End parameters to set the beginning and end of the animation relative to the entire clip's length. When I set the end parameter to 50%, the animation is complete halfway into the clip. I can also set an exact start time and duration in seconds, independently of the clip's length on the timeline. For example, I can set the animation to start two seconds into the clip and last one second. You can also choose to animate via keyframes to fit more complex scenarios. Keyframe the single progress parameter to control the animation. More parameter groups are available to toggle and customize. Rays of light, glow, and glint effects. You can distort the title or video clip Light Show is applied to via a distortion. Here I'm selecting Bulge to enlarge the title as part of the animation. You can optionally scatter the light rays, glows, and glints to give the output an edgier appearance. As a final step, Light Show lets you combine the light spills with an environmental effect. Mixing your results with a force field, smoke clouds, or laser beams provides an additional chance to produce more vibrant results. To help you discover all of these features, hundreds of presets are included with Light Show. You can browse all presets through Final Cut Pro's Effects Browser or by clicking the Browse Presets button. We'll see how that works in a bit. So far, we have worked with one of Light Show's title generators. Light Show is also available as an effect that can be applied to existing clips, as an adjustment layer that affects all clips below it, and as a transition. No matter what your timeline looks like, there is a version of Light Show to fit your needs. Notice a second set of templates under the Titles browser called Light Show Layer. This group offers the same Light Show presets, but rather than generating a title for you, they are designed to be applied over the existing video clips as an adjustment layer. The animation matches the span of the adjustment layer. I can shift the out point to decide where the animation should end relative to the clip below it. How about applying Light Show to existing titles? You could do that with an adjustment layer, but for this demo, I will use the filter version of Light Show. Let's try combining one of Light Show's styles with a 3D title on my timeline. Look under the Effects browser. There are two Light Show categories available. Use one of the templates from your Light Show for Titles category when your media isn't fully opaque, such as 2D or 3D titles. All templates under the Light Show for Titles category work great with logos too. If the logo doesn't have the same aspect ratio of your timeline, remember to create a compound clip first. Next, let's look at Light Show as a transition between two clips. I'll look under the Light Show for Video category in the Transitions browser. Notice that the very first template in this category is named simply Light Show. This first template gives you the Light Show transition in its factory settings. 
A similar version of Lightshow in its factory settings is also available under the Titles and Effects browser. Let's drag this generic version of the Lightshow transition between my clips. I could start tweaking the various parameters to create a brand new look, but I'd like to take a moment to show you the second way to access the vast library of presets included with Lightshow. Click the Presets button in the canvas to open the browser. The first presets listed in the browser are designed for titles and graphics that do not cover the entire frame, such as logos and icons. Because I have applied my transition to video clips, I'll scroll down and pick something I like among the presets designed for video clips. I like Laser Show. As for most on-screen controls, a similar button to browse presets exists in the inspector too. Notice the Save button next to it, which allows me to save any looks I create. To load this look on a different clip, open the Presets browser again to click the Load from File button to select your file. With its robust feature set and flexibility, Lightshow is the easiest way to add light spills and glows to your titles, logos, and video clips in Final Cut Pro. Wide gamut support, environmental effects, and metal GPU acceleration give you a powerful plugin that you can try out today. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.